As we get into November and the Xbox mobile store and player owned games on Xbox Cloud is right around the corner, people might be wondering if playing on Xbox Cloud is right for them. One way to determine whether Xbox Cloud Gaming is good for you is figuring out your latency to the machine running your game on Microsoft servers. I have a method everyone can use even if you're not a Game Pass subscriber. Let's jump in. Now I've already talked about this Xbox Cloud plugin previously on the channel from local multiplayer, but to accomplish this, we'll be using the amazing Xbox plugin Better X Cloud. And no, you will not be banned for this. Better X Cloud is supported on many different browsers and platforms including Macs and Android devices. I have mine here installed on my Edge browser. First, you'll have to install the extension Tamper Monkey, then the Better X Cloud extension itself. Also, it's very important to set your extensions to developer mode or it won't work. After everything is set up, go to xbox.com play. You should see this new tab in the corner. If you do, then the plugin is installed correctly. There are a ton of options to this plugin, including where your nearest data center is, your maximum bitrate, and showing your streaming stats, which is what we want. Now that Fortnite is completely free on the platform through a browser, you can test all this out with no cost to you. With the stats on, it will show you your ping, which is your delay to your machine running your game. Mine is around 30 milliseconds from Cleveland to their data center in Chicago. 30 milliseconds is just shy of optimal, but it's very playable in my aspect. I did get the win. Now for best results, ping from 0 to 25 is generally pretty optimal. Now if you're wondering where your data center is, check it in the Better xCloud app. Then go to datacenters.microsoft.com slash globe slash explore to see where that data center is located on the globe. I'll have this link in the description where you can check out all the data centers out for yourself. Now there's another way to test latency by going to the unofficial site azurespeed.com, but I've noticed that this test is a bit inaccurate, at least in my experience. Let us know how better xCloud works for you and put your data center and your ping in the comments below. So if you like this overview of finding your latency on Xbox Cloud, give us a like. Also make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.